everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing with me, Austin John Plays. It's right now Wednesday, and we just finished Community Raid Hour over on Twitch. Fun time. I just finished re, 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 re-editing my video about hybrid flower breeding, and I hope that that's gonna be a super helpful video you share with a whole bunch of people. Great, morning, Butterpup. Or good afternoon, I should say. What's up, Butterpup? Build me up, Butterpup. <laughs> I looked at my horoscope for the day and said I'm gonna have good luck. Well, hopefully I have good luck too. Well, first things first, it's raining on our beautiful Plays Island, which is fantastic. So everything is hydrated and nothing is gonna use my can durability. I don't remember if I had people over yesterday to water. We have a few, a few things. <laughs> we have a gold, gold from our black. How, wonder how long that flag was hiding there. All right, let's clean this up real fast. Let's take a look at my celestial garden growth. I mean, that's pretty majestic right there. That is just kind of glowing in the middle. And to be honest, I'm kind of over money trees. Like, I have plenty of money. Small flex. But oh, this area is coming in so nicely. It's so much better at night. All right, we're gonna include night only pictures and screenshots from now on. Last night, while I was recording, it was actually shooting stars on my island, and that's my second large fragment that I've ever gotten myself. I did get gifted a few from some friends, which is really nice. And that's how I'm able to build, you know, the things that I've built so far. But I really take pride in the ones that I got myself. Know what I mean? Oh my god. Oh my god. Lucky in his raincoat with his rain hat. Oh, you're so precious. What game should we play? Uh, the game is I'm gonna give you something. Oh, and Leaf is here. Leaf, do you still have the same Hyacinths and Holly? Or was it Azalea and Holly? Yeah, the same Azaleas and Holly. So yeah, that looks like it's fixed, but ooh. Lilies, pansies, baller. This would be great for anyone who needs to do, uh, you know, some flower breeding. Sadly, I missed my turnip prices for this morning. Oh my God, this table, <gasps> this car bed, yes. Kiddos, what is my turnip profit this afternoon? 190 okay i think that's just automatically the best yes it is not going to get higher than 190 i should sell right now and i'm going to 10 fragments a tauros and a large one not a bad haul not a bad haul isn't it so great the moment of anticipation right before they tell you how much money you're gonna make Yep, it's so great. Thank you for the 199,000 bells. I would like to buy this race car. I assume it's expensive. Wow, that is not expensive at all. I assume this table is expensive. Not that expensive, great. Hi, my name is Austin John, and any money that I make from turnips, I immediately re-stimulate the economy. Isn't it the worst thing ever when you go to make a bridge and you forget to pay off Lloyd that day, and then you wake up the next day and you're like, oh, there were that I had to give you money and I forgot to do that. And then it's like, I'm sorry, friend. He calls me friend and buddy so much. He must be Canadian. I realized that I can sleep in my bed and when I start up the game, as opposed to just putting it in sleep mode outside, I can just comfortably wake up and take my time. Like there's nothing better than soon as you start your day to just have a clean, empty inventory. And oh God, I'm sure everyone saw that video on Quality of life improvements for Animal Crossing? Ah, uh, too much. I feel like this loading screen takes a lot longer than it used to. Good morning, Butterpup. Good morning, everyone. Right now on plays, it's 9.23 a.m. on May 7th. Oh, Sahara is here. Hi, Sahara. I have a lot of your tickets. Red still has not come back yet. Not a lot of hybrids, that's fine. I didn't have anyone order or come over to water last night. So I just went outside to go check my mail and uh, I have my fourth turbo controller that I've ordered because the first three have been unsatisfactory and because I'm kind of a snob when it comes to controllers and I finally picked up a new one and I'm not going to tell you the name of it or anything about it until I use it and I see if I like it but so far it's already much much better and it's by a much more reputable company and then I also got uh, something very special that I'm going to talk about in a sec but first I want to see this area Oh, it's fully grown in now. It's so nice. And now that there's lots of flowers and trees, you're gonna see all the bugs here and it's gonna feel alive. Ah, oh, really? You're gonna initiate conversation from up there? You know you're so far away, right? Oh, is that ladder in? Oh, staircase is in. Solid. You're actually not that far anymore. Hi, Limburg. 
Oh no, a fossil showed up in the playground. Oh, it's time for a reaction. Ooh, wait, wait, is that a Nook Miles achievement? Is that the last reaction that I need? Nope. Nope. 30 of 42. Apparently, I have to collect them all. I have not fulfilled a lot of requests, have I? So while I was making my flower breeding video yesterday, there was actually some things that I learned, especially the cloning mechanics of flowers in like, in a group of three, and how the third one has a chance to clone, which usually isn't a problem, but now that we know about the friend multiplier, it is a problem. But also, I had these island oranges, and I've just allowed them to rebreed, but it turns out that the offspring of two island oranges is not at all good and cannot get you a blue. I mean, not a very good chance if possible. So yeah, these are probably all breed jacks because I don't know what came from a rare island and what didn't. So let's go ahead and yeet these. Morning kiddos, do you have anything for me today? Is that an imperial chair? It is an Imperial dining chair. I don't think I have one, so yoink. Sadly, I have all the arcades. I do not need a cute vanity. I just got the DIY for the iron garden table. What is that? It sounds magical and perfect for my garden. <sighs> oh, it's like the iron garden bench. Oh, that's baller. That's baller. Oh, I totally forgot to get you medicine. Looks like I have some mail from some friends. Thank you for making amazing videos. Thanks, Josh. Happy single to mile. Thanks, Nick. This looked like something you'd like. Thanks, Emil. For the game room. Thanks, Edward. Another month, another new bug. Thanks, Elliot. To the person who wanted Austin to buy that bear umbrella. Thanks, Dylan. Austin need barbecue. I got you. I also have it in white. Thanks, Dylan. Knock off Power Ranger. Thanks, Anasio. This seemed perfect for the campsite. Thanks, Josh. Here's a cute music player for your hippo's cute outdoor table. Thanks, Hurricane. For Bo, his own little snack stash he can share with Lucky so they become BFFs. Aw, oh, thanks, Anasia. A classy lady like Julia needs a classy record player. <laughs> Might be someone of fun to come up with perfect KK songs for each villager. I would, except that area will get very noisy very fast. Marshall's poster, thanks. Peanut's poster. Gotta protect Julia's books from the rain. Thank you. You helped me get through this quarantine by making me laugh. Thanks, Tiff. Stuffies are nice sometimes. Thanks, Sarah? I want to give you my favorite villager from Rodney. Why is pirating addictive? Once you lose an arm, yar be hooked. <laughs> thanks, Matt Force. Why did the camp counselor quit their job? Because it was always intense. Thanks, CQ. I thought Bo might like this. Thanks, David. Oh. All right, someone sent me the model for the Queen Alexandria's bird wing, and it is massive and beautiful. Like, this is probably one of the most gorgeous ones I've seen. Ah, uh, love it. Also, this throwback wall clock is beautiful and amazing. Someone sent me the purple rocket lamp. And right here is, I believe it's called Venus de Milo, which this is fake art. I told my friends to send me their fake art because it's wearing a necklace. And I just realized that Nintendo censored this one, but they did not censor the Statue of David, which is weird. Someone sent over the tiny library, which I think is one of the most adorable and precious items in the game. Like, look at that. It's like a little mailbox for books. While we're out here, someone thought it'd be adorable to give Bloop the, the cute music player to go on the cute table. Yep, that fits really perfectly right there. This colorful skull radio should bring some life to Lucky's room without changing the theme too much. Thanks, Scuts and the watering of Bud Rangers. Don't give her an axe. Also, is it just me or do keyboards no longer work with Animal Crossing? Alex, it's just you. My keyboard works just fine. Would Bertha want a cute pink plant for a cute pink table? Probably. Jaws theme. <sighs> More ducks? You'll think Julia would like this? Thanks, Maje. Something for the residential area? A new mush rug? What? Here's a poster. Thanks, Alex. If red won't come, then I'll be a red. Thanks, Dylan. Saw the screen with bamboo design on your video. Here's the superior tiger screen. Oh my god, I didn't buy that gold screen the other day. Ugh. Ragrats. Bruh. Why didn't the skeleton have a phone? He had no body to talk to. <laughs> Thanks, Christine. On behalf of your Aussie fans, I'd like to say thank you for showing us what a green island looks like. Hedges here look gross right now. If you need pine cones, shout out. Thanks, Becca. Pirate voice. Arg, this be a skull door plate. Latino voice. Holmes. 
Here's a new machine at the gym. I can only use it a few minutes before getting sick, but it's a great one. It has Mars, Kit Kat, and crisps in it. <laughs> Since you missed out on the Barella, here you go. Thanks, Jordan. Take this cursed thing. Found one in a bottle that a villager was crafting it at the same time. Thanks, Nick. I am so, so very happy that the shark is not a small model. Looks like CJ didn't screw that up. And apparently there's a mushroom stool that the Southern Hemisphere gets right now and that is so adorable. Also, there's a throwback skull radio that's Day of the Dead. Ah, uh, this, is, this is the first throwback skull radio I've actually liked. I think they're so hideous and disgusting, but this, this, this sugar skull, oh, beautiful, beautiful. That is art. I think sugar skulls are so gorgeous. Apparently, there's a lot of different screens of different designs. Like I have the bamboo one. There's also this big old tree and this this weird lion. Just like just just watch him stare just stare into his eyes. And they're like they're like the Mona Lisa. They just follow you everywhere. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> Thank you for sending me more big bears. Uh and someone sent me Leonardo da Vinci's, oh, what is this one called? Vitruvian Man. And, oh, you sent me the real one. Guys, only send me the fake art. The, the fake one has coffee stains in the top right, but thank you. Please, to all my friends, only send me the fake art. I don't want to, I don't want to have the real stuff. Oh, this shark model, that's going in the trophy room. I'm doing something with that. And <laughs> this mushroom rug, it's so adorable. <laughs> Uh, okay. Camel lady, where are you? Oh. Okay, so you can only exchange two mysterious tickets in a day. In addition to purchasing two mysterious things, like a, a wall and a floor. Oh, this is, this is like a weird stockpile, because every day you get three, four, five. Every day you get six tickets, you can redeem five. So every fifth Sahara per visit, you're gonna get your bonus flooring or wallpaper. Got it. My mysterious wallpaper was something called the Future Tech Wall, and my mysterious flooring was the train station flooring, and I also got the Kisses Wall. I don't like the sound of Kisses Wall. And then I also got the Crosswalk Flooring, which I've already have. I'm really, really wanting the, uh, the Cloud Flooring, but I want it for a bathroom so I can make it into like a real sauna. You put down the cloud flooring, and then on top of the cloud flooring, you put a custom pattern. And then also for the barcade, I want it because I can make it into a fog machine or dry ice, whichever. Okay, the future tech wall is really amazing. It has like these green glowing things. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna put that in the, in the barcade. Also, the tea room wall actually looks really nice in here. I like it. I also kind of liked the, uh... The red two-tone tile wall, it definitely makes it look like a diner, especially there, and here, it just, I mean, it kind of works, but at the same time, like, would you want to be sitting in, like, a kitchen environment? Uh, no, let's go with the seething tea tomb wall. Tea, tea room wall. There we go. Oh yeah, look at that, the future tech wall with all the posters up, and then the black, black brick flooring. Oh, okay, I like this a lot more than I like the whole paintball idea. That is baller. So baller. A lot of people have been like, I really wish you could put rugs outside. And the decorator in me absolutely agrees. But at the same time, like, messing with rugs and moving them around is not easy. And if it wasn't for, like, this interface, I don't think I would like it at all. Now, just imagine having to do it outside. The fun thing that I got in the mail is actually kind of a while ago, I ordered myself... Uh, some amiibo cards, uh, although there aren't cards, they're just like little NFC chips with certain Animal Crossing characters on them. That's sort of like my, my dream team, if you will. And now I'm at a point that I can just invite them to my campsite and get them in here, which is amazing. So now I no longer have to, you know, ask people for villagers or anything else now I'm gonna be fully self-sufficient I just went on Etsy and I typed in Animal Crossing amiibo and I found amiibo coins by a person called fab deals UK LTD 
Uh, I paid full price, super cool person. And now it's gonna be time to get my first one in here of who I want. And does this, does my new controller, does it have NFC? Nope, it doesn't. Okay, switch to the Joy-Cons. And there we go, that's Anka's Amiibo. Do you want to invite her to the campsite? I sure do. Hey there, kitty cat. Why the sourpuss? It's a pleasure to hear from you. Do you need something? Do I understand you want me to visit Ryland's campsite? That sounds like my kind of adventure, darling. I'd love to. Oh, are you, are you a fab type just like Julia? Are you and Julia gonna get along? Let's go, let's go talk to, uh... <laughs> I'm so excited for this. Let's go talk to Anka. So when I was younger, I was like super obsessed with Egyptian culture and mummies and pyramids, sarcophagus, is sarcophagi. Anyways, I always thought it was like the coolest thing ever. So it's gonna be time to, to talk to Anka here. Also, she has a really, really dope house. And she's holding a lollipop. Oh, she has the same voice and theme song as Kiki. Well, not the same voice, but the same theme sound. This island is simply stunning. I I don't know what to say except thank you for inviting me. Please excuse my excitement. It's all just so delightfully overwhelming me, meow. To be honest, darling, I wouldn't even have thought camping like this would suit me. After all, I usually loathe going without basic amenities, you know, like an infinity pool or a heated bidet. Oh, I like you. But much to my surprise, roughing it suits me just fine. I find it appeals to my bold nature. No, this cat isn't about to let a little fresh air in an unkempt wilderness keep her from adventure. Perhaps a souvenir. How about an aroma pot made right here? What is an aroma pot? It's a, uh, it's a candle wax heater. Got it. It's just some clay. Super easy. Hey there, kitty cat. I made the thing that you wanted. It's, it's right here. There you go. There's your aroma pot. Wonderful, simply wonderful. I promise to cherish this forever. Please do invite me again. No problem. Hi everyone, welcome back to Animal Crossing. With me, Austin John Place. I think I already said that this episode. I know this week was a weird week that Wednesday I put out my flower breeding video, Thursday I didn't put out a video, and today I am putting out a video. I really haven't done that much to the island. I only have a f <laughs> Every time he bends over, I think he's like pe pecking seeds or something. I really haven't done that much to the island. And I don't want to put out like... Uh, I feel like my last couple of videos were like 20 minutes and I haven't done that much. Instead, I'm going to make it so I have a jam-packed filled video. Because otherwise it's me just checking my mail and doing one thing. And... I don't think that's the best. Hey, better pup. Good morning, everyone. It's 10 a.m. on Friday. No breaking news. But today is day two that we can have Anka come to our campsite, which is fantastic. Hopefully, for the love of the almighty and powerful flying spaghetti monster, we have Red showing up. Do we? Bro, what is going on with Red? He's just never going to be here. Ever. Ever, ever. All right, let's do a quick sweep of the island to see what's new and going on. I believe last night it rained? Did it rain? No, it didn't rain. Wow. My first time not having any new flowers over here. It's kind of weird. Oh, and apparently I even forgot to order these. Wow, I was not a responsible island host yesterday. Hey kiddos, anything new? Oh, Lucky's here. Let's talk to Lucky. Hey Austin, funny running into you here. <laughs> so funny. Uh, do I have anything to give you? Can I give you something? Do you want a fossil? No. <laughs> Thanks. I wonder what kind of fossil it is. I'll have to go ask Blathers. Oh, well that's neat dialogue. Uh, I do not want a big mouth billy bass. Oh, labels here. In fact, I wonder if you might help me with a little style experiment. Yep, what's the fashion theme today? An everyday outfit. What's, what's your idea of an everyday outfit? What if I just talk to you wearing my everyday outfit? I'm not allowed to wear a wand outfit? Okay, that just became more inconvenient. This is the first time I ever went to a closet and I got changed in it. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, that's neat. Is this everyday enough for your everyday requirements? Wonderful. That's it exactly. Great. And a piece of your clothing. You know, I wish... I wish with you there was, like, more to this. Not gonna lie. Wow, that is a baller coat. 
That's a baller. Are, are, is your entire clothing line just purple? Is that your whole thing? There's been a rumor going around in regard to clutter on the ground, and it's something that I want to test out. So if you drop a whole bunch of things on the ground, it's considered cluttered, and you can't get a five star that way. It's one of the things that prevents you. By dropping items, I mean like tools and quote unquote other small items. However, there's a rumor going around that if it's placed on a stall, it will not count as clutter. Well, right now I have a five star rating and let's go drop things on the ground so they become four star and go test that out. So the game's limit is 15 small items. I just dropped 14 small items on the ground. Let's go confirm that is still giving me a five star rating. It was a four star rating, even though I dropped 14 and 15 items, most likely there's something else somewhere else on my island. So I'm just gonna take away one at a time and go check with Isabel. Okay, so this amount of items is giving me a five star. I just picked up two tools, and before I picked up those tool tools, I was a four star. So let's go grab a stall, place two items on a stall, and see if we maintain a five star, or if we fall back to a four star. I forgot a fossil over there. All right, so I dropped two items on a stall. When those two items were on the floor, I had a four star rating, and now that they are on a stall, according to this rumor, I should maintain a five star. Nope, not true. So any items that are dropped, whether they're sitting on a stall or anything else, it's still considered clutter and it still adds to too many items laying around. Never said on the ground. Got it. All right, and let this be day number two that we're gonna be inviting our girl Anka over to the campsite. You know, I really do like this, uh, what is this? It's a Hori, I think it's called the mix pad because it has the D pad or it has D buttons. And I'm not mad at it at all. And the turbo on it's really nice and it feels nice and the, the button actuation points are solid. The control sticks are nice, there's no dead zones. The shoulder buttons are a little bit to be desired but for a cheap wired controller, definitely really good. I posted my findings about this on Twitter and it upset a lot of people because a lot of people have like a DIY drop in exchange area and I know that's going to affect people but I mean honestly you could just keep you know 14 of the most valued DIYs and sell off you know especially the garbage ones like the the bunny day stuff I mean think about it this way just drop them when people come over or drop them in your house have people look at what they are and then grab them out of your house and then drop them for friends I, I know it's a bit of a mess but you know what it is what it is and honestly it's clutter but we're gonna be doing something very very fun today but first, we need to go into our campsite. Let's let's cut to the chase. Unglazed dish set. What? Another thing requiring three clay. Anka, you seem to be a fan of clay, aren't you? It's one of those things that like, oh, I need clay today. I'm going to hit my rocks and I have one one clay drop. That's it. Super weird. Now I do know that there is a fixed percent of each hit to be certain things and clay is fairly common and I think at 25% according to the companion guide that has been released in the UK but not the US because of COVID-19 but it's just it's just really weird that today I need clay and none of it appears I did get a gold nug so I ain't complaining but still it's just funny all right Anka I made the thing you wanted I have the I have I have I have the dish Ah, yet another plays masterpiece to add to my collection. Of course, this piece will be given a place of predominance. An after-school jacket. What? What's other one giving me jackets today? First label gave me the super dope purple pimp coat jacket, and now I have. Uh, is this? Oh, <laughs> I feel like I feel like Fonz. No, the guy from Greece. Yes. Everyone's been on the island has been incredibly nice. Well, maybe you should move here. Uh, but I need a few more visits. Yeah, shut up. Just move here. Tomorrow. Tomorrow, Anka. You will be mine. Tomorrow, I throw my Ultra Ball at you. So the main idea of what I'm going to be doing today is I have so many completely random items in my inventory. And honestly, I can only build so many microenvironments. Truthfully, honestly, only so many. So. Someone on Twitter uh, showed me that they made a flea market, but the way that they use the customization and all the different patterns, oh, 
Chef's Kiss, masterpiece, absolutely beautiful. And you know what? Something I've been thinking about doing was combining the playground area and the area over here because the playground area is cool, but like, yeah, Timmy and Tommy would love a playground, but like, these are grown-ups over here. There, you have a whole bunch of grown-ups living next to a playground. That's weird and somewhat predatorial. So if we tear down the playground, and we expand it through the bushes over here and we make it two halves of a flea market unless in the next few seconds I find a different place that I would like more. I feel like this area is a little too small. There's another violin beetle. Get out of here. I want the blue boys. You know what? This area might work for the crazy dirty randomness that a flea market is. It's going to give us something to do here. Perfect. Oh! Oh, oh, and with our bees, our apiary, we can make a honey stall. <sighs> it's gonna be adorable, I promise. Okay, this is gonna be a lot of work, bye. Okay, so a little bit of an update. I went from the bee apiary, and then I continued this wood path out. Yes, I know it's a little, a little crazy and inconvenient, but now we can go to the staircase and back down here to the bridge. Again, the river is separating the formatted area and the rough area. I put down a bunch of stalls here, so I can sort of get a good bearing on on what I'm doing here. And I'm just gonna go grab the most random items and a lot of customization kits because part of the beauty of this area is gonna be between all the different colors and the different colors of stall using all of Sable's patterns. Uh, yeah, shout out to, uh, to Francis. <laughs> He replied to my picture. He's already gotten 262 likes on his post and my reply that says I'm doing this has 78 Yeah, yeah, we are gonna decorate this area and you know what honestly It's gonna be a good way to get furniture decoration points up without being in the cluttered category and also like if you drop a refrigerator in a, a field somewhere it looks out of place but not if it's in a crazy mismatched yard sale like this now first things first when these vendors are gonna be here they need a place to sit down and I actually have some folding chairs which is like so perfect so so perfect for this has you ever been to a, a, a flea sale or a yard sale no it's a flea sale where there's just like a whole bunch of random people together they usually have like folding chairs and some of them have like camping style chairs. It's so like canonically perfect for like what people actually do. And I actually just needed to do that first because now I need to grab some of these stalls and start customizing them. And with just that little bit of customizing, oh, this area feels so much more alive. Okay, now I have a whole bunch of random items in my inventory and now I'm gonna start putting them down. I don't know if it's gonna be thematic or what, but we'll find out. You always have that one random person at a flea market who's trying to sell off old appliances like a fax machine, a typewriter, a stove. And it's like, how am I gonna get a stove home? But you know what? They haul it out because it's just taking up room in their garage. There's always someone selling old music equipment and this jukebox fits perfectly for that because they like to play their music for everyone else to hear perfect absolutely perfect for the theme right in the middle of this julia was saying that she wants to do a treasure hunt oh i have done a treasure hunt before uh no i'm good so somewhere julia buried something it's not going to be inside got it three minutes to find it it's gonna look like a fossil space Hopefully she didn't put it anywhere crazy like the, uh, oh, there's a money tree over there. She didn't put it anywhere crazy like in the middle of here. Oh, this is gonna take so much time. Nope, not in here, great. Again, not showing off that area unless it's night because at nighttime it's magical. Oh, I really hope it's not on like, like the back, the, the, one, pic the one pixel wide area back here. But running back here, I get to see everything in the back. All right, it doesn't look like it's anywhere over here. Oh, we found it. I found your treasure. My reward is a robe? <laughs> okay, I'm not even gonna pretend to know what this is. I'm sure this is some uh, cultural robe that I just 
am not educated on. There's always some old lady at a flea market trying to sell off her snow globe collection because she's been saving them her entire life and she has extras or ones she doesn't like. You always have someone there selling off like, I don't know, weird things like an ant farm and a hamster because their kid didn't want a hamster. While we're at it, there's also a bird cage over here for some reason. Every once in a while, there's like a real treasure that people are selling, which is going to be like this arcade machine. And people are like, oh, okay, that's pretty awesome. And people would like just play it a little bit. I feel that, I feel that. Flea sale, there's always people like selling clothing that they don't want to. Like who buys clothing at a flea sale? I'm starting to fill the place in a little bit better. And I'm also keeping in mind like, in, like casually when I want to just run through, I think I want to keep these, like this path super clear. And then I can clutter up down here a little bit more. I think that would make sense for me, like, you know, actually playing the game. What would an outdoor flea sale be without someone selling a lawnmower and old gym equipment that they no longer use? Just a random box, you don't really know what's in it. There's some things over there. Oh, oh, a staple of every single yard sale. I don't even know where I'm gonna put it, probably in this little clutter corner over here. There's always someone selling a, a, a go pet, or yeah. <laughs> A little electric scooter, there's always someone. I mean, now it's the hoverboards, but you know. You know. As I'm putting down things here, I'm like, I don't want to put this down. This is like garbage. And then I'm like, wait a second. That's perfect. Literally perfect for these type of flea sales. Because there's always going to be like a whole bunch of stuff that like nobody wants. Nobody wants at all. We'll just put this perfect peach box over here. <laughs> I've come up with an idea that's kind of genius. It stemmed from the idea of, well, I'm just putting down stuff that no one wants, and then I'm like, wait. There's nothing more that comes to mind of stuff that no one wants more than seasonal things. Like these Sky Day shoes. Oh, they don't even show up over there. So I've decided that what I'm gonna do is I'm going to have section specific booths that are dedicated to the seasonal events that we had, like, here's a bunny day lamp. <laughs> I can't think of something that no one wants more than bunny day things. Right here, boom, wobbling zipper toy. I don't think I've ever made that other than the one that was required. No one will ever buy this ever. I'm gonna place down a bamboo bench and on top of here, we can have the bamboo related things. All right, so I'm actually pretty happy with how this turned out, this sort of contained clutter that we have here. We have our electronics area where they're selling off an old projector, an old fax machine, a typewriter that's sitting on top of a stove. It's like hidden in the corner, perfect. We have an old reel-to-reel -reel player and a record, uh, portable record player. We have some animals down here like a hamster and a ant farm. Oh wow, I just noticed that the ants are actually moving in it. That is amazing detail. Look at him, he's, he's carrying food back and forth. We got a bird over here. Over here we have a dolly and a throwback wrestling figure. Out here we have exercise equipment, a lawnmower, chess, a random cardboard box, this giant gambling slot machine over here. Uh, just some more random things, a snow globe, a cell phone, or a portable phone, and a chair. And then back here we get to the seasonal things. Right here I laid down some of the bunny day stuff. Some of the bamboo things, which none of them really fit onto a stall, so I decided to just put it on top of a cardboard box. I have a panda in the corner, because even though that's not part of the bamboo set, it kind of fits. Over here, I have my peach surprise box, and I'm going to have two more of the, the current fruit seasonal things going on over there, and I think that's going to work out really nicely. I know that I talked about doing a honey stall, but honestly, now that I'm doing the seasonal stuff, this area is going to get very full very fast, and I'm just going to regularly update this. Like, getting rid of just the random clutter stuff and putting down, you know, the, the thematic things like over here. And I think that's going to work out really, really nicely. Oh wow, the speaker itself allows me to put down a song. Great, more bubblegum. Everything is going to play bubblegum. I don't even like bubblegum, but hopefully it'll drown out the sounds of other things. But yeah, a little adorable marketplace. Ugh, I love this. And it's not too formatted. That's that's the thing. I didn't want it to seem like, oh, here's the stall, two items. Here's a stall, two items. Instead, like, it's a real flea market. Like, you've been to a flea market. It looks like this. <laughs> it really does. 
and I think that's what I really like about it. To the point that it seems kind of cluttery. And you know what? We're going to put the electric kick scooter in there because they see that as a as a valuable item. And they don't want it to be out in the public for people to like try out and stuff. But yeah, I think this is great. This is great. All right, guys. Well, that's going to be wrapping up this episode. I want to thank you so much for checking it out. My, my adorable little uh, <laughs> flea market here. I'm holding off on the microenvironments for the villagers because, well, Ankh is going to be moving in tomorrow. And, well, I'll be blunt, we're getting new villagers. <laughs> be sure to hit the like button. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.